Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I hope you're having a great day and looking ahead to the holidays because that's what this video is all about. We're working on a Christmas card featuring this cute little image from Connie Fong. All right, so let's get started here. We're gonna start with the image itself, a piece of craft paper some lace and some plaid. I've got some cashmere ink as well as some topiary ink, both um, retired from close to my heart. Now, we also have some brown gray grain ribbon, and I believe that's from the Ribbon Boutique. We're gonna start with a card blank. This is close to my heart paper. It's uh, cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter and I burnished in the fold and now I'm going to take this craft paper and I'm going to turn it into dark brown paper just by going around the edge with my Faber-Castell pet pen. I'm also using this pen to go around the edges of my other pieces. Now, I am actually going much more slowly than this video is showing because um, you don't want to have an accident with that and accidentally go all over the front of your image. I did that on a video last week if you want to see how I fix that blooper. I used my distressing tool and distressed this piece and then went around with my cashmere ink. And now with this, I'm going to darken up those corners with my topiary ink wanted to uh, change the color of my lace, so I'm just dabbing a little bit of this cashmere ink over it. That will take away that stark white look that we have. Now we have the main focal image. I have gone over it with my ATG gun, and now I'm going to put some fabric tack over that. The reason I'm using fabric tack over that is because I like to have wiggle room. So if I don't get it exactly in the middle, I can sort of smooge it from one side to the other and, and get it straight. If you just use the ATG gun, you're stuck with what you have. Now what I'm doing there is I am putting some ATG tape there right on the very edge of my card, the very edge. And as you see, I sort of missed the edge of it. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go back over that and get even closer to the edge. Then I can just go ahead and get my lace just taped in temporarily, just so it kind of holds. Now I'm gonna go over it again with my ATG gun and then again come in with my fabric tack, which will really hold that lace in place as well as give me that wiggle room that I like. I'm gonna set this off slightly to the left. That gives me room to add my little tag on the right hand side. Now with this tag, I have a sentiment that's going to go on the front and a ribbon that's going to go above, but the tag is going to sit over top of the lace. So the left hand side of this little tag is going to need a little bit of cushion there. It's gonna need a little bit of raising up to match the right side. So I'm trying it out and I'm deciding, you know what, one more layer of that cereal box will do the trick. So I'm just gonna cut one more little strip here, put it over the top and that will make it just the right size to fit over that lace. Now I'm gonna come in and start working on my ribbon that I wanna use. And I'm using the brown grill grain and I'm gonna tip it off to the right hand side. But first I wanna get a fold in it because I'm not going to actually insert it through a circle or anything. I'm actually just going to fold it, glue it, and then put something over the top of it. So what I do is I go in with some fabric tack and I glue it together in this formation that you're seeing right now on your screen. And then I actually put it underneath a stamping block. And you're gonna see that here in just a minute, how I did that. 
I'm going to go ahead and glue my tag into place. And so there it is, ready, glued in. And now here is the shot of that little piece of ribbon underneath my stamp block. That works out really nicely because it, it dries exactly the way I want it to dry. And you'll see here that I can just lay it in now and it's very easy to put in place. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little gold sequin from close to my heart to the top of that. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a little black burst also from close to my heart. It's a fun way. I think they kind of look like a snowflake. And for this rustic card, I thought this is gonna be perfect. So I just added that right on to the top. I believe they are retired now, but they really are fun, aren't they? Okay, so moving on, I'm just gonna add a few little red gems. And you know, if you watch many of my videos, that when we come to the gem portion, we are nearing the end of the video. And although lately that might not have been true, this time it, it really is. Now, you know how sometimes these little gems come in strips? Well, what I just did is I just cut apart uh, some of those strips so that I could get some individual little, little gems out of there. All right. Hey, thanks for joining me today in this video. I'm gonna leave the information below on everything I used. Also, I invite you to come over to Connie Fong's Facebook page Play along with our challenges. You can win some great images. And that's always fun to have more Connie Fong images in your stash. So I'll leave that link below also. Please come play along. We would love it. Hey, have a great day and I will catch up with you in the next video. Bye.